The federal investigation into alleged corruption in Wayne County may be moving quickly, but it's far from over. The FBI is still gathering materials and information, and now Robert Ficano is facing even more pressure to resign. In less than a week, two guilty pleas have rocked Wayne County governments. Do you have anything to say to the taxpayers of Wayne County? Former Deputy Chief Information Officer David Edwards pleaded guilty Monday to accepting a $13,000 cash bribe from a private IT vendor. Last Friday, Keith Griffin, a longtime friend of former Assistant County Executive Michael Grundy, pleaded guilty to conspiring to commit wire fraud as part of a kickback scheme. Both men are expected to cooperate with the federal probe and could end up testifying against former friends and colleagues. Ever since the 7 Action News investigators broke the story of a secret severance deal last September, major players in Robert Ficano's administration have fallen like dominoes. Are you willing to give the $200,000 back? I earned it? Absolutely not. It was the county's former economic development chief, Turkia Mullen, did have to give her $200,000 golden parachute from the taxpayers back and eventually got fired from her new job as Metro Airport CEO. What were you meeting with Ms. Mullen about? Former Deputy CEO Azam Elder resigned in the wake of the Mullen scandal and his own secret severance deal of up to $350,000 was later revealed as part of Elder's whistleblower lawsuit against the county. Both Elder and Mullen have been named in FBI subpoenas demanding records from Ficano's administration. The FBI says you used your county job we to enrich to yourself and then you try to cover it up. What do you say about that? Federal prosecutors have also charged the former chief of the county County's IT department to hear CASME with bribery, extortion, and obstruction for allegedly shaking down a contractor. Former IT appointee Zaid Aliban is charged with obstruction, and a federal grand jury indicted Michael Grundy, the former head of Wayne County Health Choice, for extortion. Since we exposed the severance scandal, there have been seven high profile resignations, four people have been fired, and the county's top lawyer was demoted. Several other appointees have also left to get away from an administration administration under investigation. What the government has done to this point is they have moved from the outside in and the next step in the process then is to work up the ladder. Wayne State University law professor Peter Henning is a former federal prosecutor. He says right now the feds are pressuring the lower level workers to see how high up the food chain the corruption extends. The U.S. Attorney's Office is pushing this case hard. The message has gone out now with these types of plea agreements that uh, this is the best time to make the deal. That'll be interesting to see if they can get the big dogs and who the big dogs are. Wayne County Commission Chair Pro Tem Laura Cox says there have been enough criminal charges for her to formally call for Robert Ficano's resignation, whether he knew about the bribes and alleged kickbacks or not. I get stopped every day when people say, you keep going, you keep fighting. People are frustrated. They're frustrated with what they read about in the papers, what Channel 7 is uh, bringing to the news every day, and it's just a new drama every day, and we're just fed up. On Thursday morning, Cox will introduce this resolution during the commission meeting. It asks Robert Ficano to put the county first and immediately vacate the office of the Wayne County Chief Executive Officer. How much support do you think you have? It's hard to say. Um, behind closed doors, people tell me unanimous, but, you know, it's just hard to say. Politics is a funny thing, and sometimes people are very afraid to do the right thing. If the resolution passes, Ficano does not have to comply with it, but it will be a clear sign that he'll have a much harder time getting county business done with the commission. I think that it makes a very strong statement to Bob Ficano to say, listen, the elected representatives of the county commission are giving you a vote of no confidence. In a statement, Robert Ficano says he's made a lot of progress. He says, quote, we've rebuilt our team. Economic development efforts are bearing fruit. We're working hard to bring spending in line with diminishing revenue. Commissioner Cox looks to be playing election year politics and ignoring the substantive changes in my administration since last fall. Cox denies that this has anything to do with politics. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.